You spoke about the double-engine bullet train, yep. uh, the relationship between the center and the state. I want to get a sense from you because we keep hearing things in Delhi on Andhra Pradesh is asking for this, Andhra Pradesh is asking for, you know, a big relief package and so on. I want to get a sense from you on, you know, uh, what is it, how much financial assistance are you asking from the center? What is the kind of help that you want from the center to rebuild the state? So if you look at it, uh, the bifurcation of the state is something that the people of Andhra Pradesh never wanted. Hmm. They never asked for it. But they were bifurcated. They had no capital. They had no economic powerhouse. Hmm. We had five years, the first five years of Mr. Naidu, after the bifurcation. We got a lot of investments. The economic cycle restarted. Hmm. Things were going well. Then change of government happened. Right. Right. Extreme welfareism hmm. with no development. Hmm. And that really hurt us. Hmm. Economically, we've had challenges. Hmm. Today, we are now working with the government of India hmm. on balancing both welfare and development. Hmm. So welfare is there. I'm not saying that we've cut back on welfare. Hmm. We're continuing right. it. But we're also putting money behind development. And we're getting a lot of investments. Hmm. So yes, we will ask for what is what we believe is rightfully ours in the bifurcation bill, hmm. what was there. Hmm. Uh, parallelly, we are willing to champion the hmm. initiatives of the Honorable Prime Minister in spirit. Okay. Now, that's very, very important. Hmm. Because even the central government is looking for states that are willing to move fast, that are willing to be aggressive in terms of attracting investments. Hmm. And Andhra Pradesh is one such state that's willing hmm. to do that. So you've asked uh, for the centre to relax the borrowing limit for Andhra Pradesh? No, we've asked on various other areas. So in a hmm. capital uh, expenditure, you know, hmm. the various other schemes. Hmm. So we're looking at how can Andhra sort of fit into it and how can projects of Andhra, like hmm. the priority of Andhra Pradesh, Mm. Like horticulture is a great example of it. Mm. How can central government assist us in becoming mm. number one in horticulture? Mm. So it could be the cold chain linkage. It could be diversification of crop. Mm. It could be creating centers of excellence. Mm. Like dates is a great example. Dragon fruit, chiku. Mm. Right? There's a great examples like that. A mushroom mm. is yeah. another great example. Mm. So this is the kind of work we're working on. It's not just about we want money, give us cash. No. Mm. We're looking You're at various government be- of India schemes that we can tap in. Hmm. I'll tell you another great example is the quantum mission. Hmm. Right. Yes, so the government of India has been talking about quantum mission. Right. Money is there, hmm. but no state is was tapping into it. Hmm. Andhra said we are we are game. Hmm. We'll build South Asia's first quantum valley. Hmm. And we're doing it in Amravati. India's first 158 qubit computer hmm. is coming to Amravati in Jan. Hmm. Hmm. So there, there's this amazing schemes out there. Okay. All hmm. we're saying is that we are willing to lead from the fund. Hmm. We want to tap into these funds hmm. and create a vibrant ecosystem that will enable us to grow. Hmm. Please support us. Hmm. And Government of India is more than eager because no other state is doing it. Because hmm. quantum computing, no other state, no other chief minister ever spoke about it. Right. And here is Mr. Naidu who is leading the entire quantum revolution from the front. Hmm.